Hi, you guys. We're in Janu January Grammar Packet, page two. So the second page, there's a picture of a little snowman up there. So we're working on capitals, or I'm sorry, commas. Um, and we need to add commas where needed. So here we go. Let's review commas. Commas can be used in a series to separate a city and state, dates, and to separate a clause. They can also be used to set off a word in a sentence. Yes, comma, thank you for the cookie. Or a tag question. It's true, comma, isn't it? Or when you directly address someone. Is that you, comma, Jake? So we're going to go through and we're going to, I'll do some examples with you and then you'll do the rest on your own. We're going to add commas where needed. Number one, on New Year's Day, comma, we plan to watch football with our neighbors. Number two, no, comma, I don't really want to make snow angels today, comma, I told my sister. Number three, the Rose Bowl Parade will be shown on TV, comma, won't it? I asked my dad. Now notice I didn't have to put a comma after this set of quotes because there's already a question mark. This one up here did not have punctuation. It only had the quotations, okay? So let's talk about where we put these commas. So this is to separate a clause. On New Year's Day, comma, we plan. This is to set off a word in a sentence. No, comma, I don't really want to. Just like up here, yes, comma, thank you. And then this one is setting off a, um, a tag question where you tag it to the end. They're asking, the Rose Bowl Parade will be shown on TV, won't it? So this won't it is a tag question. It's tagged to the end of the question, and we need to put a comma there. All right, so I want you to, actually, I'll do number four as well. We have some examples. My best friend Nathan lives in Green Bay, comma, Wisconsin, and is celebrating Opposite Day on January 25th. So I had to separate the city from the state. Okay, so I want you to go through and I want you to try 5 through 14, adding commas where needed. And at the bottom, you're going to come up with examples of using these types of, of things for a comma. So I will do my examples for you, but I want you to come up with your own. So if I set off a word, that's like saying yes or no at the beginning of a sentence. So I'm going to say yes, comma, I will see you tomorrow. So there's my comma after setting off the word. Setting off a tag question, so that's when I say, you don't remember that book, comma, do you? So this is the tag where I say, do you, or aren't you, or will you? You're tagging it to the end and it needs a comma. And a direct address is when you're talking to someone. So I could say, um, was that you, comma, Billy, question mark. And then in a series is when you are listing three or more items. You have to have commas to separate them. And that's three or more. I made cookies, comma, scones, comma, and bread for the party, period. So the commas are after your items, and they only go after the first and second item, because then we have a conjunction. So I made blank, comma, blank, comma, and blank. There's only two commas after the first two because it's a list of three or more. Okay, you guys, so go work on your grammar packet page two, and I will talk to you later.